Howdy folks, if you're watching this video, you might be in the same position as me where you've got another set of wheels that you either purchased or found or something like that that um, were the same lug pattern as the vehicle you have and you want to put them on, but the center bore is a different size. See here, like I, here I've got a set of wheels that are off of a Chevy, um, and they're the same lug pattern as my Isuzu here. I got this project going on. Um, but obviously you can see that the center lug is much, much bigger than the ones on the Chevy or the center hub size. So the clearance I need on these on these wheels is I need to go in about a half an inch and this needs to be about three quarters of an inch wider overall. Um, make sure that if you whatever you're doing this on, if it's on a Toyota or whatever, that uh, you make sure that you make a lot of measurements and double check your measurements as to exactly how much you need, how much you need to take out, exactly how deep it needs to be so that you don't mess them up. So what I ended up getting was this. I went to Lowe's, got this for about 30 bucks. This is a router bit. It is a rabbiting bit. So basically what it does, it takes that little corner off of there. Um, this is exactly the things I need to do. It's three eighths, it goes from three eighths from outside to outside, it takes three eighths off of each side, which three eighths off of each side is three quarters, which is exactly what I need, and it goes half an inch deep. So I've got my router here with my bit on it, but I wanna make sure that I don't go and try and hog it all out at once. I'm gonna do this in a few passes, just incrementally get deeper and deeper, because otherwise you're just gonna ruin your bit or mess it up somehow. And make sure that you're only doing this on aluminum wheels. Don't do this on any sort of steel or alloy wheel that's harder than aluminum because I don't really don't think that a router bit's gonna would be able to take it. So yeah, we're gonna get started. I'm just gonna slowly take off a little bit on each pass and we'll see how it goes from there. First pass was pretty good. Um, I've gotten a little bit of depth in there. This one, my router bit kind of started to sink, so I uh, had to stop part way and, and go back and tighten it up and lift it up a little bit. But I didn't go too deep. I'm about to, I'm planning on going deeper than that anyway, so I should be still good. Um, these other two turned out beautifully. And so it's time to go for another pass. Second pass is done. I didn't completely block the camera this time. Um, and we're probably, oh, two thirds of the way there. It's, uh, yeah, we're getting close to half an inch deep. Um, everything's going smoothly. My bit isn't sinking anymore. So yeah, I'll see you on the other side.
there we are. There's our third pass. Um, I actually double checked my measurements and I don't quite need to be uh, a half inch. And uh, right now I'm at about 450 thousandths deep. And so that's perfect for me. So uh, yeah, I got these ones. I even test fit the wheel over here. And uh, she goes on great. Now I just want to reiterate, make sure you do this very slowly and very, very carefully. I went slow enough and I did enough passes that my router bit isn't even, uh, it's still sharp, it's still good. You could use it on some wood, um, but make sure that you get all of your measurements, double, triple check your measurements. Make sure that you don't get any of this wrong because if you do, you could ruin a set of wheels and we don't want that. But yeah, that'll do it. That's how you bore out a set of aluminum wheels, bore out the center bore without having to take this to a machine shop or, uh, or just sell them and, and having to get a new set of wheels. See ya.